the most useful thing about the software Calibre is that you can manage books both on your computer and your e-reader. And uh, even more useful than that, I suppose, is the ability to convert between different formats. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I already have my e-reader plugged in, and I can browse stuff in it. So here I'm looking at my e-reader. Here I'm looking at the library that's just on my hard drive. So let's go back to my e-reader, and you can see I already have a lot of books that I'm managing on it right there. Um, the thing is, in order to put a book on your reader, you really want to import it into your library, and then you want to push it out to your reader. So we're going to do that. Um, the question is, where do I get books if I'm not buying them directly from the store within the Nook, um, or your whatever e-reader you have? And one answer to that is Project Gutenberg. Um, this is a place where a bunch of public domain works are. So you can see I'm going to go ahead and search for Poe, because I want to put some Edgar Allan Poe on here. Um, note about public domain works, uh, all works will eventually be in the public domain, that's kind of the way the laws always work, it's the way uh, uh, the, the way it should always work anyways, so uh, there's a lot of debate about that right now, but uh, these are perfectly free and legal to download, that's the important part. Um, no one's still getting a commission for every time someone reads The Raven. Uh, so here we are, let's go to Edgar Allan Poe, he was found, I guess there's a couple other Poes or Poles, so we're going to go see what Edgar Allan Poe has out here on Project Gutenberg. Um, and as I mentioned, The Raven, let's get The Raven on here. So I'm going to download The Raven, and it'll take us to the download page. Um, you'll see that there are several different formats available for reading this this ebook in. Uh, HTML, EPUB, Kindle, and a few others. Um, HTML is great if you're reading through a web browser. EPUB is perfect for reading with the Barnes & Noble Nook. EPUB is the default format for using the Nook, as the Kindle format is for using the Kindle. We have a Nook, we're going to use the EPUB. So I'm going to download that. I'm just going to save it right to the desktop. Uh, it saves it with kind of a, an ugly name, pg17192-images.epub. That doesn't really sound nice, but luckily these things are tagged. So now that I have it on my computer, I'm going to import it into my library. So I'm going to click Add Book. I'm going to browse out to that ugly name, and I'm going to download it here. Well, I'm actually not downloading it. I'm importing it. Um, this can take a little while. What it's doing is it's looking through the book, and it's it's either grabbing the tags that are there or generating it. Um, but it's, it's formatting it nicely. It's copying it to, to the, your um, library directory that you specified in the Welcome Wizard, and it's uh, tagging it appropriately to work with the software. So now you see I have The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe um, imported here. And if I wanted to edit any of the meta information, I can just click Edit Meta Information, and it'll bring up all sorts of stuff. You know, I can categorize it in poetry. I can change the author. I don't know why I changed the author. That's what it's called. Uh, that sort of thing. So uh, now that I have it, I can push it out to my e-reader, and I can simply do that by clicking Send to Device. So it's sending it to the device, and it only takes a couple seconds to do that. Um, this is useful for this type of work, you know, um, public domain works, but there's a lot of times where we want to read stuff that isn't necessarily anything published or anything anyone's created an ebook out of already. We want to create it ourselves, and I'll show you how to do that. I have this word processor document out here. Uh, this is the bylaws to the Cowtown Computer Congress hackerspace of Kansas City. Um, I want to be able to read this on my ebook. So I'm in open office here, but uh, you know Microsoft Word will have similar features, and I'm going to use I'm going to export it as a PDF. A um, couple notes about the PDF format is that most e-readers can read a PDF format, but it doesn't usually uh, work as well as their native formats. So even though I'm I, I'm grabbing this as a PDF format, I just saved it right out here. Uh, I don't think I really want it as that. I think I want it more as a um, as an EPUB so that my Nook will display it correctly. So first things first, let's import this into my library just the same way we did with the other one. Um, and as I said, when I add a book into this library, I don't really need where it was at the previous location anymore. It's not being used by by Caliber. Uh, I have another copy of it somewhere else. I might have multiple copies of it in different formats within Caliber's library. So once this imports, I can actually delete oops, both um, uh, the Raven here that can go to trash and these bylaws I just generated can also go to trash. So, oops. Uh, now we see we have my bylaws in there. Uh, once again, I want to push them out to the device, and I could do that right now, but they'd be in that PDF format, which doesn't really work so well with the Nook. It, it might 
it might look a little funny. There might be odd spacing between lines, um, and also functions such as uh, searching for text or uh, highlighting or taking notes that the Nook has it won't really work with PDFs. Some it might, some it won't. But I want to make sure those things will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to convert it. You see right here that says formats PDF. Well, I'm going to hit convert and it's going to bring up my little conversion wizard here. Uh, there's all sorts of different settings I can specify here. Uh, I just recommend playing around with them if, you, if they're not working for you. I really just use the defaults. I make sure my output format is EPUB. Input format was already PDF. That's the only one available. And I'm going to hit OK and it's going to convert this. Uh, anytime uh, Calibre is doing something for you, you can always click on the jobs and see what's happening and you'll see that it's converting. Conversion will take longer for longer pieces of text and it'll also t can take longer for things that contain images because all those images have to be resized, converted, and copied over. So uh, this piece of text should not take very long. In fact, it's probably going to finish up right, yep, right here. So now if I look down at the formats available for this, for my CCKC bylaws v2, I have EPUB and PDF. So um, since EPUB is the one that's that's the default for my Barnes & Noble Nook that I specified in the Welcome Wizard. All I have to do is hit Send a Device and it'll send the EPUB version to my device. So um, if we look over, now I have both the Raven and my bylaws. Uh, it's pretty useful and uh, now I can, I can use all the features that the Nook provides for the EPUB format with these files right on my Nook. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful.